The wait is over. Finally, we have something close to a date for season two of Invincible. We'll talk about all that and more with the latest news out of animation. The original Invincible comic ran from 2003 to 2018, but the first season of the show only started in March of 2021. For many, it was their introduction to the world of Invincible and all the parodies and cameos within, like the Guardians of the Globe being something like the Justice League or Teen Team who are a not-too-subtle reference to Teen Titans. And of course, the most obvious would be Omni-Man being something of a Superman figure, in the same way that Homelander has that role in The Boys. Regardless of the connections, it was a dream to finally have an adaptation that could live up to the hype and push the boundaries even further in some ways. We all recall that extended train scene, I'm sure, but that didn't go that far in the comic. Another plus came from the inclusion of an all-star voice cast, many of whom represented our diverse society better than the original comic did. On the flip side, Amber, Invincible's girlfriend, voiced by Zazie Beetz, was made much less sympathetic to us than she was in the source material. But that doesn't change anything too big in the story, so most won't be too bothered by it. With the success of the first installment, Amazon immediately confirmed two more seasons would be coming. And at long last, we have a date for season two thanks to Collider, 2023. Sure, it doesn't tell us which month or even what season it's going to be released, but it's good enough for fans who have been asking for months when we'd finally get any hint of an update. At the end of the first season, comic fans recognized important characters and arcs being set up. But many viewers were just wondering what was to come, besides the obvious Mars plot that involved an alien coming to Earth and the Red Planet being overrun with sequits. In fact, that whole event was one of the most important setups and will definitely be touched on sooner rather than later. We can say this with a good amount of certainty, considering some events were switched around or pushed closer compared to the timeline in the comic. It was likely done to draw more fans into the first season through larger events. If that's not enough, we can expect to meet more Viltrumites, like the terrifying Conquest, none of which are as attached to Mark as his father was. Even if they weren't, there's no way an Empire of Conquerors would just let Omni-Man disappear from his duty and not find out why or try to send a replacement. We also got a look at what happened to Doc Seismic after he was presumed dead from falling into lava. Spoiler alert, he's alive and has a new army. Fan favorite Battle Beast is doing his usual hunting for strong opponents as well, but that could mean just about anything for now. And depending on the pacing, we may even be introduced to one of the most intelligent characters, Angstrom Levy. We won't spoil what kind of role he'll be playing, though. All I can say as someone who's read and thoroughly enjoyed the Invincible comics is that you haven't seen anything yet, and the wild ride that's coming will blow Season 1 out of the water. As always, we'll be keeping you up to date on everything out of animation.